Hey, hey, Yeniverse and mining family. Grab your shovels and your pickaxes. Welcome to the show. I'm Nemesis, and of course, I'm not your babysitter. Do your own research, but let's dig in. Yo, before I dig into this one, it looks like whenever I was doing my last mining rig, you would think that I'd be beaming right now. Yo, Crypto Macau, not beaming right now. Sorry. Uh, what ended up happening, small little stupid mistake, happens to the best of us. I was looking at the notes that I had for one of my other rigs, and I got the similar CPU for that one. Yeah, it didn't work on this motherboard. I didn't um, look at the specs on this board, well, before I bought the CPU. I had it all written down. But of course, I grabbed the wrong paperwork. Oops. I think I should make a notation of systematically filing them a little bit better than what I did. Uh, but <clears throat> this was also back whenever the CPUs kind of went onto a little bit of a shortage. It was hard to get them. Um, one finally popped up for sale, and I was like, yo, bought it. And thought it was the right one because I looked at the wrong notes because I grabbed it real quick because I didn't want to miss out. FOMOing, yo, it happens. So I grabbed the wrong sheet, grabbed the wrong CPU. Um, I'll have, I'll be ordering up the right one tomorrow. Um, have it in like a day or two, and have that rig up and running. Uh, I'd hit the power button, it boot up, look at everything. It was like, <sighs> and then, oh, anti-dramatic, right? It was like it would turn on for a moment and then shut right back off. <coughs> No good, no good. But, live and learn. So, I didn't realize that I grabbed the wrong CPU, but it's not a problem. I'll just use it in a future build. Yo, I just DCA'd into something in the future, whatever. So, <clears throat> moving on from that. But, oh, I have the H110 um, motherboard. So, just a little fun fact. That works up until 8th gen CPUs on the 1151 sockets. So you can do 5th, 6th, and 7th, or 6th and 7th generations is ideal. Um, but I had grabbed an 8th generation. No bueno. So, whatever. I've got a 7th gen coming in now. So, all good now. Righteous. So let's kind of dig into what I what I was seeing today. Uh, so looks like Coinbase is saying that there's a, 50, uh, a double spend and a 51% attack going. Yo, um, so according to it to Ethereum Classic, uh, this was not a 51% attack. Um, they had one of the developers in a tweet um, had said that there was. A ASIC machine by uh, Lintz Zoom. I have no idea how to pronounce that one. Um, that was uh, this right up in here. Um, don't know how to pronounce that. So, but the ASIC machine manufacturer supposedly was testing a 1400 mega hash uh, Ethereum mining machine. Dude, that's insane. Now, between all the stuff I have, dude, that would just dominate over what I've got. GPUs would be absolutely done on Ethereum. Uh, pretty much, uh, the Ethash algorithm would be a dead algorithm for any GPU mining whatsoever. And anybody who has older E3 machines or older Ethereum mining machines would be virtually worthless. To have something just dominate on top of that would bring the, the, the network hash rate up so astronomically. Dude, it, it, it killed the network for mining. Uh, I don't play in the ball game where I've got an endless budget and I can just keep on buying machine after machine after machine after machine. Uh -uh. Can't do it. So, <clears throat> if this is true, I'm going to have to... Look at other things to be mining, like maybe some of that uh, beam, beam coin. But I've got to get my new GPU rig up and running first. 
get that going onto uh, Hive OS, learn how to run that the right way, and be be up and running with a new algorithm. Hopefully it pans out, don't know. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, but uh, it's a speculative mind, you know, uh, that we're kind of letting the at-home miners know about. Because it's not the big miner that I'm worried about. I want to help all of us at-home miners make this space a little better for us. Um, so, and they're, uh, and then like towards the end of this, uh, they chime in with Coinbase saying that they've detected um, a double spend on January the 5th. Um, where the exchange has now, uh, Coinbase has now halted the trade of uh, Ethereum Classic um, and has not resumed yet. I haven't tried moving any of my Ethereum. I got a little bit on Coinbase, not much. Uh, the majority of what I have is in my own wallet, so I'm free to be able to move it as I as will. And they're not talking that the network's getting hack to the point where uh, you got to worry about the funds in your own wallet being leaked out. They're not talking about that. They're just saying that there was a report of a double spent. Um, and they said that there was eight additional recognized episodes uh, for around 88 and a half uh, or yeah 88,500 Ethereum Classic right around almost $450,000. If that's true, that's that sucks. Um, and, and some of that's just due to there's so many miners that are getting off the network is that it's making some of these smaller coins a little more susceptible to this. Not all of the algorithms have the high hash power like uh, Bitcoin. It's one of the things that makes Bitcoin so secure is that their hash rate is so high. They've got so many mining pools that are incent basically incentivized to not be like that. Um, now, I hope that there wasn't any double spending. Um, I hope that, you know, but that's just me. And I wonder if any of this has to do with uh, Ethereum uh, going through its hard fork. I hope not, but we'll have to see in the future. But I hope to God that there was no uh, double spending. I don't know if it's going to really affect Ethereum Classic really in the long run. You got to look at play uh, companies like Verge. They got double spent on and are 51% attacked, and it didn't really hurt them at all. So I, because of the fact that I think that Ethereum Classic's got a good development team still. Um, they've got good fundamentals. I think that if there was a double spend of any sort or a 51% attack, I think that Ethereum Classic w has enough um, standing up behind the company to react and stop that from actually happening by doing something with their own code. Because if they're getting uh, double spent on, that's actually an issue in their own coding. That's because they're network is just allowing a an attack um, and I understand for them code is law but they've got to make sure that the network is secure by first and foremost so I hope that that theory classics correct and that's just new equipment being tested out on there and everything was legit um, but somewhere down the line somebody either made a mistake saying that uh, the theorem classic got 51 percented and double spent was uh, happened in the process and they jumped the gun or you know did they just get new equipment tested hey guys just let me know down in the comments below what side of the fence are you on do you think that there was a double spend at with, with all of this being transacted do you think that uh, coinbase is uh detected a deep chain recognition of Ethereum blockchain that it, that had a double spend in there? Let me know in the comments and down below. And while you're down there, smash that like button, guys. And while you're smashing that like button, hit the subscribe if you're new to the channel. Share this video with other people too. And uh, like always, I will see you on the next one.